Hello welcome back to part 4 of hidden meaning behind your dog's behavior. In this video we will cover such aspects like why instinct comes first, what your dog's coat depends on, compulsive itching, when your dog goes through changes, yoga fun, and much more. So sit back, relax and enjoy, let's get started. People will try to teach their dogs many things. Tricks like sitting or staying, hurting or fetching, and even expert tricks like opening a fridge. But good luck teaching a pug how to open a refrigerator. When you get a new dog, could you pay attention to its behavior? Are they highly driven or lazy? Do they like to fetch or be chased? Every dog has a genetic instinct that inclines them towards certain behaviors, and if they are positive behaviors, then reward and encourage more of them. For the most part, the way your dog behaves is really in the lap of the gods. When welcoming a new dog into your life, it becomes crucial to closely monitor their dietary intake. Each dog breed possesses unique nutritional requirements, necessitating tailored diets. These dietary variances encompass the appropriate ratios of fat, protein, and quantity. Ensuring that your dog receives a well-balanced and nutritious diet directly impacts their overall health and well-being. A healthy diet contributes to a softer and more lustrous coat, reflecting the dog's optimal condition. If you aspire to have a canine companion with a radiant and healthy coat, prioritizing their nutrition is key. By providing them with quality and suitable food, you make a valuable investment in their overall health and appearance. If your adorable little pup happens to be beside you, attempting to pick it up and tickle its paws might not go over well. Most dogs are sensitive in that area and may swiftly evade the interaction. This heightened sensitivity is due to the paws being one of the most delicate spots on a dog's body. It emphasizes the importance of taking proactive measures to protect those tender feet throughout the year. By providing your dog with both winter and summer socks, you can ensure their paws remain healthy, shielded, and secure from external elements. These specially designed socks provide an additional layer of comfort and safeguarding, contributing to your beloved companion's overall well-being. Naturally, dogs want to be outside all the time, however, they get used to living indoors and understand that they go out whenever they are taken out. If your dog, that is used to going out three times a day, suddenly asks to be taken out all the time, it's probably the time of the month, not for your dog, but for the neighbor's female dog. When a female dog is in heat, your male dog will smell it for miles. Remember, regardless of other dogs and their time of the month, dogs want to be outside as much as possible, so whenever you can take them out. If you have enough room in your car for your dog, this one is for you. It's all got to do with their amazing scenes of smell. When traveling in the car, we feel the fresh breeze blowing in our hair, but our dog sense the smell in the air, ten times stronger than when still. When a dog sticks its head out of the window, they are literally in euphoria. Their brain, which is packed with sensors, gets overstimulated and the pressured air, blowing straight at their face, envelopes them with great highs. Ultimately, if the window of opportunity is open, the dog is going to seize it. There is something about that exposed canine belly that is just irresistible to give one massive stroke. It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Have you ever wondered why dogs roll on their backs and show you their bellies? It's actually not normal instinctual behavior. The dog's oldest ancestor, the wolf, would never show their belly because that's its most vulnerable spot. So, if your dog shows you its belly, it means they are super trusting and super confident with you. They are on their back, knowing that if any predator comes around, you will be there to protect them. In the animal kingdom, there is no creature that isn't protective of its food. Then there are dogs. In the wild, dogs, originating from the wolf family, guard and protect their food for a purpose of surviving. It's in their blood. And when a dog guards its food, it should be trained, especially if there are young children or babies around. Do this when your dog is still a puppy. Teach them, with professional guidance, that the food does not have to be guided, especially when children approach. The last thing you want is your dog growling at your baby or child if they accidentally touch the dog's bowl. Yes, it is normal for dogs to experience occasional itching, but what if they exhibit compulsive scratching behavior? There are numerous potential causes for this behavior that warrant attention. 
Compulsive itching in dogs can be triggered by various factors. It may be indicative of an allergy, such as a reaction to the fabric softener used on their blanket or sheet. Other possible culprits include mites, insect bites, skin infections, or even a sensitivity to the recently purchased dog shampoo. To address this issue, it is crucial to identify the underlying cause through careful observation and, if necessary, seek guidance from a veterinarian. Determining the root cause enables appropriate treatment, ensuring relief for your furry companion and restoring their comfort and well-being. Look, what warm-blooded creature doesn't snore from time to time? It's just something that comes with the luxury of sleep. So, it's not only your better half that keeps you up with his, her snoring but also your dog can be blessed with this irritating behavior. When a dog snores, it's not only its owners that are kept awake but also itself. When a dog snores, it repeatedly wakes up during the night, nothing to worry about, as it doesn't have an office to go to in the morning. Dogs are not supposed to snore, and if this happens often and loudly, consult with your vet. Similar to humans, dogs also undergo a phase akin to puberty, resulting in noticeable shifts in their personalities as they age. For example, as a dog progresses from the ages of 5 to 15, their play drive gradually diminishes compared to the exuberance displayed by a youthful pup nearing 4 years old. If you observe your dog becoming a bit grumpier with the passing years, there's no need to worry excessively. They are simply experiencing the natural process of maturing. Just like humans, dogs may encounter growing pains during this period of transition. Understanding and acknowledging these changes can help foster a greater understanding and empathy towards your loyal companion as they navigate through different stages of their lives. Have you ever heard of the term dog amusement park? It's not what you think it is. A dog amusement park has a very simple definition. It is basically when you take your dog on a walk and let them lead the way. This is especially fun for dogs who love using their sense of smell. For a dog, getting to walk around the block and choose every turn and where to stop feels exactly like it does for you to ride a roller coaster. It's an exhilarating rush that you want to do over and over and over again. Dogs are probably the most yoga-disciplined species on the planet. After all, they are very zen creatures who are naturally at one with the world. But jokes aside, the average dog does the downward-facing dog yoga pose every time they get up from a nap or even just a rest. That's a lot of stretching. Humans don't collectively stretch nearly as much. This begs the question, do dogs have a healthier lifestyle than humans? We think so. You definitely are not stretching downward dog every time you get up from the couch. Cats are also pathological stretchers, extending their limbs all over the place. So there you have it, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and comment. Stay tuned for part 5 in the hidden meaning behind your dog's behavior. See you next time.